Our next story is about some Northwestern students who are working their muscles, but not at the gym. There's a team of undergraduate, graduate, and postdoc students that's trying to figure out what makes muscles stick to each other and just about everything else. They're using that research to make muscle-inspired medical glues. Northwestern undergraduate Kyle Holmberg is Mr. Muscles at the Biomedical Engineering Lab. The muscles are kind of the icon of the lab, I mean, the, the face of the lab. He keeps the tank stocked with marine mollusks for researchers looking into what makes muscles stick and how that glue can be used in medicine. So each muscle has overnight secreted all these adhesive plaques that tether the muscle body to the surface. The adhesion between the, the surface and the adhesive plaque is fairly strong. I mean, it's pretty impressive what nature has engineered, really, you know, it's a, it's a bioengineering feat. Muscles emit bissel threads and protein-based plaque, or landing pads, via a foot that allows them to stick to most wet, slimy, salty surfaces. Plexiglass. Professor Philip Messersmith calls them promiscuous. There are very few materials or surfaces, either man-made or in nature, that a muscle, muscle is not capable of attaching to. So you can think of muscles as very promiscuous in terms of their ability to attach to surfaces. This is a need for survival. If the muscle is not firmly attached, it will be thrown around on the rocks, perhaps its shell would be cracked, and it would, it would not survive. And so the, this is a survival mechanism. The Messersmith Research Group at Northwestern is conducting cutting-edge research on injectable biomaterials tissue engineering, nanoscience, and gecko and muscle adhesives. These days, the team at the Biologically Inspired Materials Lab is trying to understand the mechanical and chemical properties of muscle threads and plaque to create a synthetic or bio-inspired version of muscle glue to help repair and replace human tissue. To do that, they run tests on stick, strength, and stretch. We were interested in developing an adhesive that works in both wet and dry environments. Oftentimes, doctors and surgeons are working under wet conditions, and an adhesive that they would want to use would need to be able to work under those conditions and work quickly. Recently honored as one of Illinois' future leaders in technology, Carrie Brubaker is developing adhesive biomaterials for use in surgery and for diabetes. Using low-tech carpentry tools, as well as sophisticated lab equipment, she runs burst tests on the blue glue to check just how much pressure it can withstand. The Northwestern Lab is a multidisciplinary research zone, with chemists, mechanical engineers, and doctors in training like Dominic Fullenkamp, who mixes med school with material science. That is where I want to be, sort of at the intersection between the engineering and the medicine. And so, sort of trying to answer questions and having a perspective that a lot of scientists and engineers don't have on medically relevant questions. As part of his MD-PhD studies, Dominic uses Northwestern's atomic force microscope to figure out which surfaces in the body might support a muscle-inspired adhesive. The atomic force microscope works by feeling um, a surface and you shine a laser down onto the probe, which is something like your finger, and you look at how as your finger gets bent, as you go over higher surface features, um, the laser reflection angle will change and we're, we're able to detect that. Muscle mimicked adhesives may someday find their way into your mouth. Muscle master Kyle plans to take his experience in Northwestern's lab to dental school. Biomaterials research is very important for dentistry. When you think about adhesives for Dental, dental composites, you know, to glue in your crowns or fillings, stuff like that. So that's very relevant in many different aspects. So I think it is pretty interesting how the work I have done here, just thinking about these problems, like, could potentially help my future career. Careers for the students in the biomedical engineering program could be in either academia or in medical technology industries. Coming up, we'll talk to a Northwestern graduate about life after the lab and how Northwestern's research could help a medical device company make money from muscles. Professor Messersmith's research has made its way into the medical industry. He's the chief scientific advisor at Nerides in Madison, Wisconsin, which is developing his muscle-inspired glues for medical use. We are a medical device company and we're tending to develop our products as adhesives for closure of wounds after surgery or other kinds of damage. The syringe holder 
Using technology that Messersmith and his students Wonder invented way. just a few years ago, Nerides creates coatings, sealants, and adhesives that are compatible with the body. If you look at you and I, we're really um, bags of hot water. And if you want something for use as an adhesive to hold tissues together, it needs to work in a wet, salty environment. And the irony of it is, is that goes back to muscles attach themselves to surfaces underwater in wet, salty environments. And that is actually, in a, in a cryptic way, what we are. These next generation biomaterials could help prevent bacteria buildup on implants and catheters, act like a staple or suture to glue two surfaces together, seal leaks, or attach a medical device. The potential for this in, in widespread use is, uh, is we consider to be something that would be quite significant simply because, you know, we have a lot of glues in the world that are very strong. They're just not compatible with the environment of the human body and they're not safe. And we have a kind of product that actually can fit that particular need at this time. And this is relatively new science. Scientists like Jeff Dawson were Transfer. recruited straight out of the Messersmith Research Lab. It's obviously very rewarding to to be able to do what I do now based on what you know what we had been doing for the last 10 years um, so that's pretty special. He's in charge of bringing new medical products to market. Our coatings would be applied to a medical device uh, for the purposes of reducing bacterial adhesion to the surface of that device. Our sealants and adhesives on the other hand are are designed to promote adhesion of tissues to one another or devices to tissues, but the technology is, is common uh, in that it's inspired by marine muscles. We want an adhesive to do its job, do its job well, and then get out of the way so that the body can repair itself. When it fails, the Northwestern students are flexing their muscles and getting a grip on their future as bivalve bioengineers. You don't think of like these simple things that are really so interesting and have so many potential useful applications. So I really hadn't thought much about muscles and muscle fouling until I was introduced to this lab. They taste great, so that's, that's impressive. Um, but I think they're, they're really interesting, very simple, and yet they have developed mechanisms to adhere to all kinds of substrates, and they can do a lot more than we can do right now. So we're trying to learn from them.